Okay, there goes my ride. Let's do this. So I'm 20 minutes in. It's absolutely gorgeous so far. But it's stressful as hell. Because this portion of the trail, Wind Cave National Park, and then the next section, which is in Custer State National Park, are full of free roaming bison. So I'm trying to enjoy the beauty of this, but I'm also on edge because I'm terrified that I'm going to round a corner and come up on a lying down bison. And uh, I don't feel like getting in a fight with one. Never karate chopped a bison before, but it's probably not going to be good for him. And I'd just rather not do it. 45 minutes in, just did my first climb. It's probably going to be one of the gentlest climbs of the whole trail. <sighs> I'm already winded. I almost killed me. Come on, trail legs, where are you? Probably doesn't help that I had a few too many drinkies last night. <sighs> I camped around with the other guys. <sighs> Bison usually trail marker poles with scratch and posts. It stays that way. Well, shit. I spoke too soon. On the trail, trails right here, but I'm gonna walk over here. <sighs> oh, just over five miles in. Two and a half hours with one bison detour and one break. <sighs> Check out the view. <sighs> We're pretty exposed the last little while, so I'm gonna 
take a break in this little shady spot, have some water, and then push on. Try and do 16 miles today to French Creek. Whew. Not bad for foul lazy guy that didn't do any training. Whew. Now leaving Wind Cave National Park, entering Custer State, Custer State Park. Ah, I am bagged already. Nine more miles. It's not even that hot out, but it feels like it's a million degrees. I am stopping in the shade. I uh, just passed into Custer State Park here. Filtered some water out of Highland Creek there. I'm gonna stop for lunch here. I feel like dog shit. I, uh, it's probably just a combination of having, not having hiked in eight months and being out of shape and being hot and probably the scotch and the wine from last night. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have lunch here. Maybe that'll make me feel better. Other than that, it's gonna be a slog to French Creek. I should be able to make it in four hours. As long as there's not too many upsy downsies and stupid bison. on horseback leading her donkey she said up a ways though that uh, they were just walking along and then the horse spooked she was like what and then a big bull eyes and stood up right beside them they didn't do anything scared the shit out of her so said that was quite a bit up and I don't even think it was on the trail, so fingers crossed. Almost at 10 miles. These last four miles have been No energy, stopping every 15 minutes for a break. Uh, just at Flynn Creek, have a little line up. Oh. Soaked my feetsies in the creek, filtered some water. Oh, hopefully that'll make me feel better. Still got five miles to do, and it is 3.30. I don't know if this will make out, but I'm not the bouncing in the air. A car drove by me a while ago. Except there's a herd bedding down. So that's probably them over there. Luckily, I'm going that way. I am dying so far. Coming up to a road and all the cars are stopping and looking at something, which has me nervous. Is, is it bison? Is it elk? Is it pronghorn? I don't like it. I haven't been filming much in the last couple hours. And I'm struggling. <clears throat> I'm almost at 13 miles. The goal for today is to make it to French Creek Horse Camp, which is at 15 miles. So two more miles to go. I am dragging ass. For a while I was having to take a break every like 15 minutes. Just felt like dog shit. 
upset stomach. It's hot out. I finally took a pee and it was almost brown, even though I've been drinking quite a bit. I refilled my water twice, two or three times already. Some creeks. <sighs> Struggleville today. But I should hopefully be there in about an hour. Fuck's sakes. Right in my way. Son of a bitch. Fucking assholes. Going cross country is not what I needed right now. I'm going to guess that is French Creek as I am about three quarters of a mile from French Creek Horse Camp where I will hopefully be staying the night. It's really pretty. Until you realize there's a road right there. Well, I managed to score a sweet little campsite here for free. They let, uh, they let through hikers camp here. Huh. Find a flat spot. I had a shower. That was nice. The uh, Custer Stake Horse Park will let through hikers set up camp here. Super nice. Just talked to a nice lady from just about horse stuff and hiking stuff and played with her mule, gave her her mule a bunch of scratches and horse cuddles, I guess. Very cute. I should eat some food, even though I don't want to. I should. Didn't eat much on the trail at all today. Mushroom risotto. Oh, today was brutal. Started out really fun, really nice, and then became not fun. But pushed through, which was good. There was uh, thoughts of already quitting were going through my brain, but kicked the shit out of that idea. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do 25 kilometers tomorrow. Um, I've heard that as soon as I leave here, it's like two miles straight up. So I'm going to try to get an early start tomorrow. I'm getting up at 5 because it's going to be another scorcher tomorrow. I think it's going to be 26 degrees, which is too hot. So I want to get most of the miles in in the morning. And we'll see where we go. At least Legion Lake, maybe farther. Good night.